Hello everyone. And today, in today's lecture, let us understand few more important concepts in Ansible. That is Ansible register, debug, and cell module in Ansible. So first, what is register in Ansible? Register is a kind of variable in Ansible. And whenever you are running any modules or running uh, any tasks in your Ansible, you can register the output of that task into your register variable and then you can display those outputs or print those outputs in the debug module. So if we talk again about register, register is a variable in Ansible that stores the output of Ansible tasks and those registered variables can be used inside any other playbooks or inside any other modules of code in your Ansible playbook section. Now, the next thing is debug. This module prints statements during execution and can be useful for debugging variables or expressions without necessarily halting the playbook. This debug module, as the name says, for the debugging or printing the out of your execution of your task into the screen to do better debugging. Even this debug module can be used with when condition which we discussed in our previous lecture about the when condition. So even with the conditional statements this debug module can be used easily. Now there is one more most important I can say this is one of the most important module of Ansible that is cell module. As the name itself says it is something related to cell commands. So Ansible cell module is designed to execute cell commands against the target Unix or Linux based machines. Unlike the Ansible command module there is one more module in Ansible that is command module. Similar way we have Ansible cell module you can use the pipe symbols. Pipe symbol means you can redirect the output of one command to the another command to the another command. Multiple pipes can be used. That is pipe symbol. So even cell will be able to accept all the pipes and everything. Same like cell script. Even if you want to run some cell script, cell module can be used to do that as well. So let us see all these concepts practically and then let me know if you are still not able to understand the concept. So let us start. So what I am doing, I am creating a simple playbook which will be used to run the cell command. So what I have done, I have started with the playbook. These three are the common lines. Then I am giving the name of my module, anything you can put here. Then I am giving cell command. So cell is mainly a module in Ansible. So cell column and then whatever the command I have to execute, I want to run date command. Now, the output of this module, I want to register somewhere. As I told, there is a register variable which can store the output of your task into a variable. So what I am doing, I am storing this date output to a variable named out. Here the name of variable can be anything. You can give x, y, z, a, b, c. Anything can be at the place of out. Now, another topic which I told, there is one more module in Ansible that is debug module. This debug module can take the register variables and it can display the outputs as well. So what I am doing, I am using one more module here and then module name is debug and debug has one, one parameter that is where and whatever the variable you have registered here, same variable name you have to put here. Now, what is expected output from this playbook run is, you should get the date of the target system, date and time, which will be displayed on your screen when you will be running your playbook. So, let us run our playbook. So, I am doing ansible-playbook, playbook name, hyphen i, our inventory file name, and in the last lecture, we have encrypted it. So again, I am giving ask vault password. Now let us run it. So it's asking the vault password. I have applied the vault password here. Now your playbook execution is completed successfully. Let us understand what has happened on the screen. 
so you can see debug messages and here you can see standard out as a standard output what you are getting monday 9 jan 12 12 4 utc 2023 so you can see your debug module was able to print the output of date command which you have executed in the cell module now let us do one thing instead of date command let us try some other command so that we can understand so there is one more command in uh, shell script maybe which we check the host name so host name command and let us run the playbook again so i have supplied the password now let us see okay so now here you see as a standard output you are getting the machine name of target machine that is node one suppose some other command i want to run no problem i can run that command also so here suppose i want to run if config command which will give us the ip address of the target machine so now let us run again and see what is happening so now you can see as a debug output on your screen itself all the ip associated and every details is printed on my system this is exactly use of register variable and debug module now let us do something more in ansible cell module so in the cell module right now i can pass only one commands at a time but suppose i want to run 10 commands at a time then this is the syntax so you have to put here one pipe symbol and go to the next line write your complete command like i want to do date command i want to run if config command i want to run uptime of the system i want to see host name i want to see uh, maybe uh, top command or uh, leave top maybe sar command i want to run clear command maybe or leave the clear but this much is okay so you can see i am running these many four five commands now again i am registering these commands are put in register so everything should be printed on our screen let us see so again i am supplying the passwords password has been given let us see what happens so now you see everything so first you can see the date has been printed here sorry here you can see date has been printed then you can see all the ip address you are able to see so whenever you have to run multiple commands or even the cell script cell module name cell module colon pipe symbol and this pipe symbol can accept as many commands you want to pass to it even you can pass the cell script name and it will be you will be able to execute that cell script on the target system so now you can see how much powerful is cell module how register variable is working and how debug module is using so that's it about today's session i'll be coming with more practical videos in the coming section thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time have a great day ahead